Hello, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you all are doing amazing. Uh, in today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, guys. Um... So we have one card here. Things you no longer need are falling away to make room for the love you deserve. Okay. So for some of you, you may actually feel like this separation was much needed or maybe this separation, it doesn't mean that it has to be recent, but it could be that you're finally detaching from a situation that has already ended. You're releasing it, maybe trying to make room for something new, or you're realizing that holding on to something of the past here is uh, creating a wedge between you and what, what you desire for your future here. Okay, so whether it's a new connection, whether it's wanting a new start with this person, but feeling unable to forgive them for the past, maybe some of you could be in the process of forgiving so that you can have, uh, you can try this again, but maybe for others of you, it quite literally is about releasing this connection, detaching from it so that you can, uh, you know, manifest something new for yourself. Okay, so let's see here, guys. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords and we have the Three of Swords. Okay, Five of Swords and Three of Swords kind of gives me this energy of, yes, I, I could read it as someone who is conflicted about you, Pisces, but I more so see it as someone who is conflicted about some sort of hurt. So whether this was hurt that they feel like they inflicted upon you or this connection, or maybe this is some sort something that they're hurt by in terms of something you said or something you've done, but it's like someone who is conflicted about the hurt in this bond. So they're not just going back and forth. They're not just wanting uh, or not just thinking about an argument. It's more so like wanting a solution because they're thinking about some sort of hurt that is bothering them. Um, you know, it could be someone who feels guilty for something that they've said. It could be someone who's kind of like, I wish I handled that in a better way. Um, and it almost seems to me that this person is upset for hurting you or they feel like that that was not their motive. So again, I guess said all that to say they feel like they mishandled the situation with you. Definitely up in their mind about you this week with the swords energy. So I'm going to start off by seeing how they are viewing you this week. Okay, guys. They're viewing you as someone who's very determined to walk away, someone who's very determined to detach from the situation. And this week, they may even be viewing you viewing you as, you know, your back is turned towards a situation, like you're walking away, uh, something feels more, uh, like something feels like it is the final time. So, so it's almost like this person feels like this is the final time that you are going to tolerate something or, um, you know, you're, you're walking away from something for good here. Okay. Um, Virgo actually pulled this card in reverse, uh, in their, uh, spread. So maybe some of you are dealing with the Virgo or you have Virgo placements in your chart, but what I see here mainly guys, is this person viewing you as, you know, you're walking away from the situation. You're emotionally detaching. You're not concerned about this connection as much as you once were. Um, but they do feel that you feel a bit like your energy is depleted or you feel like you've tried everything, um, you know, possible in order to keep this connection going or in order for the both of you to work together. But they are viewing you as someone who feels, you know, completely drained. Okay. Um, this kind of goes hand in hand with the, uh, your Oracle card there, right? Things you no longer need are falling away to make room for the love you deserve. Something may be very difficult, Pisces, right? For you to walk away from, but you're like, if I don't walk away from it, then how am I going to manifest something new? Or 
you know, just because you're doing something that's good for you doesn't mean it feels good in the moment, right? So you may be making a decision that is potentially hurting you, potentially bothering you, and it's making you feel very empty, but you also feel like it's much needed. Okay, now for others of you, very specific uh, message, some of you could be outgrowing something in this bond, whether you're outgrowing the bond as a whole, or there's something here that you're like, that no longer works for me, that no longer, uh, you know, satisfies me. Uh, we have the Page of Cups and we have the Three of Cups in the challenge position. I, I do feel that this person is, um, they're thinking of you. They want to reach out to you. This could be, um, you know, someone who wants to tell you that they miss you, right? Uh, the Page of Cups is more of like an emotional message. But hear me out with the Three of Cups. I think that what's challenging this person is they feel like they kind of, where they feel like they were kind of taking this connection too lightly. And let me boil down that energy for you guys. When I mean they feel like they have been taking this connection too lightly, they may feel like they were lighthearted, they were trying to go with the flow, but then they feel like, you know, ultimately it backfired on them. So it's so they're feeling like it's okay to take something lightly, but I I kind of took this way too lightly to the point where Pisces walked away or to the point where there's some sort of distance between the both of you. This person this week may feel like you're viewing them in a very immature way or you're viewing them as someone who is kind of just involved, um, you know, uh, for the fun parts of the relationship or, you know, um, like there's an energy of them feeling like they have a great time with you, they they love spending time with you, but they feel like they weren't really taking their emotions to the next level or they weren't really acknowledging how serious or how deep their emotions were for you. There's something about them feeling like they were taking things too lightly is mainly what I'm picking up on, okay? Um, Three of Cups could be a third party, but I don't wanna to speak too soon. I actually wanna clarify that energy. Um, but mainly what I'm getting is someone who's like, okay, you know, this is kind of like a crush, lighthearted, fun energy, but then someone realizing, well, <clears throat> I took it way too lighthearted. I should have done more when I had the opportunity to do so, or I, or I should have been more expressive. Okay. This person may also be feeling like they were kind of dragging their feet or they felt like they had all the time in the world to get it together or to be ready for a commitment. But Clearly now they're real, realizing that time has run out or you're, you know, detaching from the situation here. The way that you're viewing them, Knight of Wands, so kind of confirming what I'm saying. You do feel like this person's a good time. You may even be very attracted to them. Uh, you know, maybe someone who um, understands your love language very well, but it could be that you felt they were just way too in and out. Now, the Knight of Wands could be read as a player-like energy or you just feel like this is a connection that is so exciting but there's a lack of stability so like <clears throat> you may feel like you know this is someone I love speaking to and and we travel together and I love being in their company but is that all I'm going to receive from th from this connection very specific download but for some of you you may feel like the emotions were developing but they were not being acknowledged it was more so like okay let's just uh suppress those emotions and let's just go back to being lighthearted and fun doesn't mean that you guys <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, doesn't mean that you guys had to be in like a friends with benefits situation, but it could definitely be a situation where you guys were like doing couple things, but there wasn't really a title. Or even if you guys were a couple, you felt this person was still receiving attention from multiple sources, or you just felt like they weren't ready to settle down or be committed as much as you were. You're viewing them as someone who's in a very fickle energy, someone who's very uncertain, you may view them as extremely charming, you know, someone that you're very attracted to, but maybe you're wanting more. Um, Eight of Cups could also be walking away from a situation because a key component is missing. Maybe the compliments are there. Maybe the attraction is there. Maybe the passion is there. Maybe the the um, uh, humor is there. But is the stability there? You know, is, is, is there a future with this person? Maybe these are the things that you're kind of um, thinking about this week, or these are the thoughts that are crossing your mind. <clears throat> we have the two of swords in your feelings and we also have the five of pentacles. You do miss this person, but it seems that you're still like there's some sort of confusion here and you feel like speaking to this person won't necessarily cl clear up any sense of confusion right now because you're still viewing them as someone who's in and out or someone who might, might tell you the right things, but you feel like they're going to return to their old ways. 
Um, how I'm receiving it is someone who may come in with like constantly come in with a new approach, but they're not able to maintain it. They always return back to how they were or how they were treating you, uh, you know, in the past. And so with the two of swords and the five of pentacles in your feelings, I do feel, you know, two of swords could be when you're in between worlds. It could be when you're not seeing something clearly. And with the five of pentacles, it's almost like there's a fixed mindset when it comes to this person. And the reason I say that is the two of swords is almost an energy of you guys saying, well, there's only way, one way this is going to work out. Either this person is going to apologize, but then they're going to go back to doing the same things, or they're going to come in as a changed individual, but they're going to, you know, uh, revert back to their old ways here. There's something here about you almost feeling like, well, I already know how it's going to happen. So I guess I'm just going to remain closed off, or I already know what's going to happen. So I guess I'll just miss this person but 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 be on my own i don't want to break the silence that's what's going on in your feelings we have the eight of pentacles and we have the four of swords so you're definitely healing you could be focusing on your finances a bit more this week um or that there's just some sort of financial goal that you really want to work towards something you want to attain for yourself so it's like keeping to yourself and just working on your goals here and this could also be something that is helping you uh, you know, almost distract yourself from the negative thoughts or just being consumed by this connection here or thoughts of this connection. Um, I do see that you're a bit confused, but it's almost like you feel if you were to reach out to this person, something is going to go back to how it always was. So you're almost looking at it like if I were to reach out to this person, I would still be disappointed or I would be more disappointed than I currently am. So is that something I want to do to myself or do I want to continue healing and focusing on myself? That's what I see. We have the tower. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio and we have a nine of swords clarifying the three of cups. Yeah, this is exactly what I said, guys, like someone who is stressing out about how they've treated you, someone who feels like, you know, why was I just, it could be someone who was playing mind games with you. But the main uh, download that I was getting is like someone feeling like, why did I handle things uh, so lightly? Why didn't I take anything so seriously? You know what I mean? And it's not like, oh, you have to be serious all the time, but they feel like, eh, they came off very, oh, I don't care, or very nonchalant, or they felt like they had all the time in the world, and now they're stressed out. Nine of Swords is worry. It could be a loss of sleep, loss of appetite, someone who just doesn't feel like themselves. And I think what's worrying them is the fact that for some of you, it could be they put you in a third-party situation with the Three of Cups. For others of you, it's genuinely someone who feels like, if I had such a good time with Pisces and I do have emotions for Pisces, why was I not being a little more serious? Why was I not taking the things that Pisces was telling me seriously when I had the uh, you know opportunity to do so? So this person feels like they mishandled things with you is pretty much what I'm getting here. And then the tower... Um, Clarifying the Page of Cups could be some sort of an unexpected message from this individual um, or the tower could also let me know that this person kind of feels like <clears throat> they did not expect things to end as soon as they did. Like what I see here, guys, is this person feels like you kind of just said no or put an end to something that has been working for months. So like months or, or weeks or, you know, like there's an energy here, guys, like of this person. So for example, I'll give you a generic uh, like example here. Um... If this person was like in and out with you, right? And and like you guys would go out on dates and then you guys would like speak for weeks on end, but then you guys wouldn't speak for, you know, a couple of weeks on end and then they would come back and then you guys would do the same thing again. Maybe that was enough in the past. It no longer is. So what I'm getting at is there's something that you were allowing, right, Pisces? And I and I don't say this to call you out. I, I say this so that you can better understand your situation, right, guys? Um, but there is something here you were allowing, my beautiful Pisces. There's something here that you were tolerating for a very long time. And this person is realizing you're not tolerating that anymore. And something else is you you kind of shut something down very abruptly. Like maybe you were okaying this behavior. And then, you know, maybe as of recently, you, you just woke up one day. You're like, you know what? What am I doing? Or why am I allowing this? You know what? I'm just going to tell this person that I'm not doing this anymore. So like whatever you said, that's just a generic example, but whatever you said, this person, um, they find it to be very unexpected, very abrupt. It's like no more of this. And, and they're kind of thinking, well, it, well, this is what was happening for weeks. So they're starting to realize like you're really walking away or you're really creating some sort of a change, uh, you know, for yourself and you're no longer tolerating what you once did. So this person may actually feel guilty with the nine of swords because they feel like you were very lenient, you were very patient, uh, you know, maybe even on your end, you feel like, yes, I definitely did give this person the benefit of the doubt, but 
you know, is that doing anything for me now? Is that serving me uh, now, right? We have the Page of Wands in their feelings and the Moon in Reverse. There's something they want to tell you. The Moon in Reverse could be someone um, coming clean about something, so something that they kept you in the dark about. Or number two, it could just speak about suppressed emotions, like someone who feels that, you know, I handled things so lightly, but I do have a lot of emotions for Pisces, so I want to tell them that. Pages in the deck are messengers, so I mainly see it as like this person opening up to you or having this desire to reveal something that, that they kept you in the dark about. I also see here, guys, that something is becoming more clear to your person because, excuse me, the moon upright, guys, it speaks about like illusions or um, uncertainty. So in reverse, there's an energy of this person feeling like they have more of like a uh, like a clear mindset when it comes to this bond or something that they were failing to understand in the past is becoming very clear to them. We do have the strength card. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo and the two of wands. So during this period of being held back from you, they are fixated um, on the uh, future. But here's what I will say. Remember I mentioned that this person feels like they rushed something with you or um, they were handling things very lightly. That's what I said. They're handling things very lightly, but there's almost an energy of them feeling like things were very in and out as well. Two of Wands, guys, in traditional tarot, what it speaks about is almost like rushing the process. So it's like, you know, he has, uh, you know, um, achieved what he wants. He has, uh, you know, attained what he wants. And in the Two of Wands, what it pretty much speaks about is he's kind of looking, right, at the world in front of him. And he's like, okay, well, um, I have everything that I want, but is this it? Because, and the reason why he feels that way is because he rushed the process. But then he has the world in his hands, which means... He rushed the process and he feels like he has everything, but he doesn't. That's the reality of it, right? So that's why this card has a lot to do with either waiting. It could even have a lot to do with feeling or, or having the control to change your reality, but maybe you're not seeing how you can do that uh, right away. So said all that to say here, guys, with the two of wands, this is someone who feels like they rushed something with you. They handled something very lightly. Um, this person could feel like when they were speaking to you and connecting with you, that was enough, but now they're wanting more. So this is a, there are a lot of things this person is realizing, and there's definitely a lot that this person is um, acknowledging in terms of their emotions. Like the, uh, a lot of suppressed emotions are resurfacing for them is what I see. We have the Queen of Swords and the potential outcome with the Seven of Swords in reverse. You're receiving some sort of truth from this person. Moon in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone's coming clean, guys. Like whether it's, um, you know, this is what I did or this is why I was non-committal or yes, I was involved with someone else. They're revealing the truth to you. They're laying it all out on the table. You know, you could look at it as, uh, you know, the truth is, is uh, maybe something that uh, will affect you on an emotional level, which I'm sure it may, but... Um, it is someone who wants to be honest with you. So it's not like they're coming forward to, uh, you know, tell you um, something that's not true or make up uh, something to cover maybe a truth. They're actually being authentic. They're just like, I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to be dishonest. And even if it's something you know with the Queen of Swords, they just want you to hear it from them. They feel like they owe you that. Um, Queen of Swords, King of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Wow. Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Four of Wands. Hmm. Okay. So Pisces, here's what I see in the potential outcome. Someone definitely coming clean. I see this person being honest with you. Moon in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Potentially something they've done behind your back. Um, you may be aware of this, but uh, if you're not or you had a gut feeling, I see this person communicating that to you. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Wands. This person feels emotionally connected to you and wants a connection, and you're going to see that when they communicate with you. But with that Ace of Swords in reverse, you may find that there's some sort of an obstacle or something that the both of you are not on the same page about that's kind of in the way. The Ace of Swords in reverse doesn't mean that there won't be a breakthrough, but it may be that there's a breakthrough, but it's delayed. It could also mean that someone is really um, having a hard time accepting a truth. Okay, if it's not about accepting the truth, it's saying, okay, I accept the truth, but I'm having a hard time forgiving you for it or moving past it. But with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, I do see, again, someone who feels very, very connected to you, um, someone who wants this connection. But if I'm being transparent, I do see a little bit of an obstacle when it comes to a truth being revealed. So if it's on your end, maybe you're like, yeah, you know, um, thank you for telling me the truth, but I don't trust you. Or thank you for telling me the truth, but I'm going to need more than just a few days to heal from this. Okay, so let's see what they want to communicate to you. And we do have the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and then we have the 
Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, yeah. So for some of you, this person could have ended another connection in order to come forward and speak to you. That's not going to be the case for all of you, but it could be that, um, like again, I see that even though this person's being honest with you, maybe you're just wanting some time to process it. So it's not to say that you're not thankful that they're at least admitting to it. It's to say that you're like, hmm, okay, well, I don't know if I trust you or I don't know if I want to be in a connection with you again. Okay. Why do I feel so lost? That's that nine of swords energy. And I think that with the moon in reverse, as well as the seven of swords in reverse, they feel like what would give them more clarity is to just come clean about what's affecting them. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. This person feels like your silence speaks volumes or the fact that like you could be um, like if they reach out to you or they have in the past and you've kind of given them one word replies, they could be really hurt by that because it's like I do feel like they feel guilty about something that they've done, but they also um, are being introduced to a side of you that they're not used to don't wait for me please so this person could feel um bad they could feel like they have been uh stringing you along here is it over their energy seems a bit all over the place i feel like they're feeling you know more than just a few emotions here but i do see a desire to speak to you come clean about something but this truth it, it can either help the connection or it can hurt the connection right so it's like okay um I receive the truth. Are we able to move forward? Or I receive the truth, but I feel like now I really don't trust you. So I don't want to be a part of this. So we could go either way here. Okay. And then bottom of the deck, guys, it says, how could you ever forgive the mess I've made? This may be someone who wants your forgiveness, but feels like they're not deserving of it. So my wonderful Pisces, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.